What's up, everybody? Uh, happy Monday. I hate Mondays. Um, uh, today is just a blah day. I swear I do not like Mondays. I went to work today, this morning. I am so glad I got out at 12 instead of 3. Today was so dry at work, it didn't make no sense. Like, seriously, the time just did not go by fast at all. That's why I hate Mondays. But anyway, um, okay, let me get into today's episode of GH. <sighs> Lord, where do I begin? Um, Brit and Dr. Obrek, can they please just shrivel up and die somewhere? Like, seriously, just please jump in a fucking lake. I am so beyond sick of this storyline, it don't make no sense. Beyond bored with it. The bitch is running around claiming she pregnant by Patrick, which I just do not believe. There's more to this whole pregnancy storyline than she's letting on. Trust me when I tell you the bitch ain't pregnant. I think she's pregnant, but I don't think the baby's Patrick. There's no way. And she's so-called pregnant. How come she's further along in her pregnancy than Maxie is? She looks bigger than Maxie. How is that possible? Maxie should be more further along in her pregnancy than Dr. Obrick. I mean, than Dr. Britt. I don't know. Um, but Dr. Obrick is such a bitch. Like, I don't really blame Britt. I don't like Britt, but I don't really blame her because look at her mother and father. She never stood a chance in this world with parents like that. Seriously. And then her mother told him, oh, stop your whining or I'll give you something to whine about. Are you serious? That's a grown ass one. What you going to do? Take out a, a switch and spank her with it? Please. Britt, if you had any sense, you would knock that old bitch on the floor and break her hip. Seriously. Get a clue. So now the bitch told me she got to go back out of town or whatever to see some patients and whatnot whatever Patrick went to the hospital to go see Sabrina and Sabrina kept her look which I'm happy she did she kept her contacts and her hair Sabrina looks all that I love Sabrina she looks so good um she looks very beautiful um her and Patrick were gonna talk about the Brit and the baby situation but Sabrina had to go to work. You know, she had to punch in for work. So Patrick left. He said he had to go take his father to the airport. So um, Sabrina and Felix were talking and Felix told her he don't think um, the baby is Patrick's or whatever, or she just might not be pregnant or she's running some type of scam. I agree with Felix. I think she is running a scam, of course, all cooked up by her mother. So I definitely agree with Felix on that. And I love the way Felix got Sabrina back all the time. That's real friendship. Um, That's how friends do. You know, you're supposed to have a back. And that's what Felix does. And then Britt comes up running her mouth. I am so sick of that bitch. Like, seriously, I just wish if she was not pregnant or allegedly pregnant. I wish Sabrina would knock her block off. Like seriously, just throw her down some stairs and just ugh, break her neck. Um, I'm beyond sick of Brit. She's annoying. Um, so Patrick was talking to Noah about, you know, the situation and, you know, I like Patrick and Noah's relationship as father. So it's been, you know, bad the last couple of years. You know, their relationship been pretty difficult, but they finally in a place where they could really have a father son talk. And I like that. Um, Patrick ran into Dr. Obrecht at the hospital. I mean, at the uh, airport. Oh, bitch. She told me, oh, I got something important to tell you about your wife. Oh, bitch, shut up. 
You ain't got nothing important to say. Shut your mouth. Unless you actually going to bring his wife back to poor Charles, you ain't got nothing important to say. Shut it down. Um. So Bobby Spencer shows up to the Metro court and to um, Scott's room. He's drunk as fuck and he kisses her. And then he start talking about their past together and has she ever thought about what it might have been like if they would have stayed, got back together for good. And she says she did think about it. She used to think about it, but now she's moved on with her life and she's ready to just find the right guy this time. And he's not sure about his relationship with Laura, but she's telling, but Bobby was telling Scott that, you know, him and Laura were engaged before she left and they're going to be engaged when she's come when she comes back so um scott is sitting there pretty drunk as fuck um and he's telling her that the guys in seattle must be blind or just dumb which is true because bobby don't look bad for her age um but I think her and Noah Drake should get back together. I definitely think they should. They had a pretty good history back in the day. I think they would definitely work out now. And I think Noah still has feelings for her. But anyway, um, Lulu was presumed dead on the table. So one by one, Dante, Luke, and Laura were giving their uh, goodbyes one by one, saying their goodbyes to her. And... It broke my heart when I when they were saying their goodbyes to Lulu when they thought that she was dead at first. Luke, I swear, this is why Anthony Gary is the big dog on this show. This is why he's the top dog and top billing on this show, because his performance is always five star. Like how angry he was when he thought Lulu was dead and, you know, the, the emotions that came out. I loved it. Same thing with Laura. Jean Francis is a wonderful actress. Um, she's a she's a good woman, and I, and you know she regretted the fact that you know she was sick all these years, and you know she missed out on a lot of time with Lulu in the past couple of years because of her her own mental illness and stuff like that, and that she loved her, and you know that was her only daughter, and then Dante. He just straight up broke down on the table, like seriously. And, you know, he was telling her about all the plans that they had about the time that they first met at Jake's. Um, And he knew right then and there that they had something special from the first time he met her. Um, And then all of a sudden he said he heard a heartbeat. He heard her heart beating. So Luke and Laura ran in the room and felt a pulse and they said she had a pulse, but it was weak. So Luke started CPR and slowly she started, you know, waking up. So Lulu woke up and of course now she has no memory of Luke, Laura or Dante. She has no memory of the three. She doesn't know who they are now. So now we have a amnesia storyline, which is bullshit. Now she don't know who her husband is and she don't know who her parents are. And she most likely not going to remember her life in Port Charles. And that's just straight bullshit. Anyhow, Carly lets herself into Michael's apartment. AJ's telling her don't just barge in there. Her and AJ get to talking. And for the first time in a long time, she actually said Michael was AJ and her son because she said our son, our son. She finally said it. So. And she says she wanted to go see Sonny or whatever to tell Sonny about it, about Michael and Brenda. But AJ warned her not to do it because Sonny has a hot temper and he might do something drastic to Michael. Which I don't believe Sonny would. He said that Sonny might shoot Michael or something like that. Then he brought up how Sonny shot Dante and Carly told him I was different circumstances. That don't matter. The fact is he shot his son. It don't really matter. So they arguing or whatever and blah, blah, blah. She told my old Michael slept with that whore. And AJ said, like, I slept with you, the whore. She was about to slap AJ and AJ grabbed her hand. 
and you could feel you could see the sexual tension between AJ and Carly. You could just see it when he grabbed her hand. You could see that sexual tension. I'm just saying it looked like they wanted to get on get it on right then and there. I wouldn't blame you, um, AJ. But anyway, um, Michael was at Sonny's house. Sonny thought somebody had broke in, so he went in there with his gun out. He noticed that it was Michael, and then him and Michael got to talking, and Michael told Sonny about him sleeping with Brenda, and then Sonny kind of laughed. He kind of smiled and said, I didn't hear what you said. Then he kind of gave a sinister smile, walked to the door, closed the double doors, and then pulled out his gun. I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to tell you, for the first time in a long time, I actually felt scared of Sonny at this particular episode. I kind of felt afraid of him myself because of that sinister smile that he gave when Michael revealed what happened. And then when he pulled out that gun, I'm like, OK, Sonny, you need to take your pill. Somebody's going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But then he Michael was kind of scared, too. And he asked Sonny, what was you doing with the gun? And Sonny was like, I'm putting it up. I was like, OK, so why you pull it out like that? So he put the gun up and then he was asking Michael about, you know, in detail to tell him what happened that night. So Michael tells him how him and Brenda met up at the bar in the lobby. They went up to her room and he was asking Sonny for forgiveness. Um, Sonny shouldn't be mad at Michael. Seriously, you should not be mad at Michael because I don't believe him and Brenda slept together. So Michael left. Sonny got on the phone. I guess he was talking to Max or Milo, telling him to find Brenda and bring her to his house. And when Michael got home, Carly, he was, you know, a very upset. I think Michael has every right to be upset. Obviously, this is bothering him. And he told Carly to just leave him alone. Like, and I think she should just let him be by himself right now and to let him collect his thoughts instead of hovering over him. So Sonny gets a knock at the door. He assumes it's Brenda. He opens the door and boom, it's Kate or Connie. You want to know who I think it is? Connie. How much I want to bet it's Connie at that door. I'm willing to bet it's Connie at that front door. I don't think it's Kate. I think it's Connie. But anyway, I enjoyed today's episode. Um, I enjoyed it very much. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll... See you tomorrow. I'm out.